Today, I'm building LeBron James's dream team. But his team starts out as all 40 overalls. Every year of LeBron's career, I will spin from the upgrade wheel. The upgrade wheel has five tiers. And every three spins on the upgrade wheel will unlock a new tier. As the tiers go up, the chances of getting a superstar increase while the chances of getting a bum decrease. The goal is to win as many championships as possible with LeBron and go 82 and 0. Subscribe to the channel if you do. Also, check out my Twitch. I stream every weekday at 11 a.m. And follow me on Twitter. I tweet a lot about basketball. Let's go. We got rookie LeBron as an 84 overall. And the rest of the team are 40 overall bots. So let's see if we can get lucky here on our first spin of the tier one wheel. We got a role player. That's pretty good. 12% chance. And you guys know all LeBron teams teams need is shooting in defense. Let's bring in Chad Holgram. We just have to build an offense that allows LeBron to drive and kick with ease. And getting a big man who can shoot is a great start. I'm surprised Luka didn't win it. And LeBron won Rookie of the Year dropping 33-13-5 in his first year. And he also won DPOI. And he's on first team with his future self. I guess if any player is going to make an all-NBA team and win zero games, it'll be LeBron. And Chad had a solid year as well dropping 15-18. and 18. And the Atlanta Hawks went and won it all. Trey Young going crazy. LeBron and Chet went up five overalls. LeBron 289 and Chet 282. I know we only added one player, but I love this LeBron and Chad too. We got ourselves a bro. We have been getting incredibly lucky with the tier one wheel. We're going to bring in an all time talent and certified bucket getter Tracy McGrady to play alongside LeBron. I really couldn't have asked for two better picks off the tier one wheel. And this version of T-Mac is only 20 years old. We got a really young team. And now we're back to reality. LeBron's still making first teams and we actually managed to win two basketball games. How we do that? T-Mac not scoring as much as I thought he would, but 19, 10 and 6 will take it. And the Celtics win it all. Jason Tatum getting a ring. Everybody's going up. Look at Chet two at an 86. Here is our final spin been off the tier one wheel we got ourselves a bench one that's a lot more likely than what we've been getting before this was the best young three and d guy i could find give me cam reddish i gotta make sure every single player on this team can shoot and play defense Jokic with a near triple double lebron racking up dpois and cam reddish got us some more wins he actually did better than i expected but t-max doing his thing chet's doing his thing lebron's doing his thing we're good i don't expect to contend right now we just got to bring young guys to the team to help him get better and build a team that can grow alongside lebron now we're on to the first spin of our tier two well but i'm not gonna lie tier one went pretty well so this is not a surprise we're gonna bring in another other big men to help space the floor out. Let's bring in Robert Ory. There's not too many young big men who are 70 overall and can shoot threes. Shea with an MVP. LeBron still on first team. And we're somehow almost a playoff team with an all 50 overall bench. I guess the Robert Ory pickup did wonders. But again, we're building a team to help LeBron just work and do his thing. We want the ball in his hands, every possession, cook up, or give it to T-Mac a couple times, whatever you gotta do to win. And we definitely got our big three established. Time for our second spin of the tier two. We're gonna get another bench one where it's getting bad. We're gonna bring in the shooter to come off the bench. Let's bring in Grayson Allen. And it looks like the Cavs want to start grace now and have care Medish come off the bench i don't hate that at all let's see if we make the playoffs shea with another mvp and this team actually made the playoffs as the six seed we have a six-man rotation and somehow made the playoffs and we got ourselves a game seven in the conference finals james driving on brandon miller dives the t-mac t-mac trying to drive dives it back to james what a connection between t-mac and lebron d-lo gonna use the person no way Oh, that was a crazy shot they're gonna foul and t-mac's going to the line okay we need both of these t-mac first one up it's good. Second one to make this a three-point game, and he got it. D'Lo, three ball. It's off, and LeBron's Cavs, first year they make the playoffs with a six-man rotation, are going to the NBA Finals. It's been an amazing run for this Cavs team so far, but let's see who we play in the finals. We're going up against the OKC Thunder, who also have Chet. We got ourselves a Game 7 in the finals, but LeBron and T-Mac have both fouled now. Cam Reddish and Chet both have five fouls. Chet, go to work to get Chet! Oh, I thought he missed it. Shea, three ball! It's off! Rebound Cam! Cam Reddish in the corner. Two seconds. Mini! It's off. Okay, tie game. I don't even want to go to overtime here, but seven seconds left here in game seven. Shea. Oh, he's got a bot on him. Oh, good help defense. Time out. We got a shot. Can we get it in? Get it in. Cam. Cam, bro. How are we not getting smoked in overtime? Chet, driving. You got the angle. You got the angle. Go up. Go up. There we go, Chet. No, don't get stuck on the screen. Shea driving. Step back. Mini. Missed it! Rebound check! To save LeBron and T-Max legacy! Five seconds! A bot! What are you doing? Bot! To Chet! One second, Chet! Dude! That was our... Oh my god! How is this game still close? Wait, is it Grayson out and four bots were done? It's, a, it's, it's over! Grayson using the bot screen! Grayson, three ball! Oh, you got a good look, man! That wasn't a bad look! Grayson, shoot it! Grayson, just shoot it! Grayson, drive me! Pull up, Mini! 
I, I guess I expected too much of Grayson the 1v5 this team. This man Chet ended with 44 and 14. He did all he could. And LeBron's officially a 99 overall. But now we have our final spin of the tier 2 wheel. I'm not gonna lie, it's been kind of man. The tier 2 wheel has been terrible this video. Gonna bring in another big man who can shoot it. Let's bring in Maxi Kleber. And we're actually starting Maxi over Robert Ori. I don't mind that at all. Lamelo grabbing an MVP. And now we're in the playing tournament. Okay. And T Mac is actually outscoring LeBron now. And we got smoked in the playing tournament, so we're done. And the magic win it all. Trey Young on the magic now. Okay. The team's looking pretty good. And the tier 3 wheel can't be any worse than the tier 2. We got ourselves a superstar. What a great start. 8% chance. It's not a flashy pick, but we're sticking with floor spacing and defense. Let's bring in Clay Thompson. Again, there's definitely better options, but Clay Thompson fits perfectly on a LeBron team. And LeBron gets the first MVP of his career, while the Cavs sit as the number one seed in the East. Oh, that Clay Thompson addition was beautiful. 44% from three, 19 points a game. Well, it was a close series, but we're going out in seven. And we lost to Bronny dropping a triple double. And the Wolves will go ahead and win it all. Shea, just everyone just moving teams. I think Clay might be regressing. That's a great sign. I don't know how you're regressing your prime, but what do I know? Here we go. We got our. Oh, I wanted another superstar, but we'll take a star. That's good. We got to fill out the four spot. We're going to bring in the defensive player of the year who could also space the floor out. Let's bring in Jaron Jackson Jr. LeBron has no choice but to be a basketball genius with this lineup. I give him everything he wants. LeBron with another MVP. You're welcome. And I think they won the same exact games as last year. I'd like Jaron to rebound the ball a little better, but he's given us great floor space and shooting 38% from three. And LeBron cruised his way to the finals where we're going to be taking on the Kings. Who have Caden and this team is nasty. And by nasty, I mean gross. This team literally sucks. Look at this. Pick and roll with Chad. You, you just piece this team apart, bro. Clay Thompson open. I mean, I, I didn't. Oh, I made it. Okay. Well, you get the point, man. Your job is too easy. And LeBron wins finals MVP. Congrats. Okay. Apparently T-Mac actually won finals MVP. I don't know why LeBron was up there. Nobody went up, but that starting five is looking nasty. And here is our final spin on the two through wheel that has been very kind to us. We got ourselves a starter. Okay. We need somebody to run the second unit and we're going to keep our point guards tall. Let's go with Cade Cunningham. I got to really start building this bench if we want to go 82 and 0. Another MVP for LeBron. And we won 66 games this time. We're doing better. The scoring is starting to get a lot more balance on this team, which makes sense. We got a lot of stars. And Cade had a great year to start out. And the Cavs had a semi-tough road to get to the finals, but they're here. And they're facing a Warriors team that's pretty stacked, not gonna lie. Just gotta close them out here in game seven. Come on, make this offense easy. T-Mac driving. Good take, T-Mac. Wallace trying to drive. Dives it to Brady. What? Oh, what a block from James. T-Mac hit on the ball. LeBron's sitting in the corner right now. Gonna use the Chet screen. T-Mac trying to drive. Hezzy cross throws it down. What a move from T-Mac. T-Mac wants this ring. Wallace trying to drive. Lays it up in it. Okay, we got a seven point game. They're running pin downs. LeBron wide open. Oh, he definitely bricked that. Okay, let's not sell this game, guys. Wallace off the screen. Wallace driving free lane in a basket. What are we doing? Oh my god, T-Mac. No way you just stepped out of bounds. Wallace off the screen again. Wallace driving. Gets foul. We're really about to have a three-point game here. T-Mac wants this game in his hands. T-Mac trying to drive. It's not there. Great difference from Casey Wallace. T-Mac driving. Missed it. Rebound. Bro, bro, we're selling this game. Casey trying to use the screen here. It's not. No way. Oh, what a pass. Brady makes the hook. One-point game. First free throw for James. The crowd is quiet. It's in. Gotta make this a three-point game. He got it. Jones off the screen. Jones to Giddy. Giddy three. It's off! Rebound! Get, grab the ball! Okay! That should do it. That could have been very bad on LeBron's resume. To go out like that, he, he barely touched the ball. Like, he... Man... Bro, you are so lucky. Oh, my God. I'm not going to lie. Choking and then winning finals MVP is insane. And Chet led us in scoring with 29. And we'd like to see Cade getting better. And we're now going to move on to the Tier 4 wheel. Our first spin's a goat. All right, we got to lock in here. We need a crazy pick. I was torn between taking Steph or KD, but I don't want to drop off too hard defensively. Let's bring in KD. I could have made the obvious choice and went MJ, but I want to stick to building the best team that fits LeBron James's game. And this version of Durant's only 23 years old. LeBron's still grabbing MVPs. And we just got the greatest record in NBA history, 77-5. and five. If the wheels come to us, the next few spins, we're going to get ourselves 82-0 and 0 for sure. And we made our way to the finals yet again where we're going to play the Utah Jazz. And they got Scoot, Devin Booker, and Brandon Miller. Oh my god. Every team we play that I think is going to be crazy. We just smoke. And LeBron James getting another finals MVP. Look at KD. 42-10-9. Unstoppable. This man, KD, went up to a 98. That's beautiful. Let's see if we can land a go with another tier 4 spin. We got ourselves another goat. Okay, okay. If we don't go 82-0, I'm at. 
That, that's all you can toss it up to. We're going to pick someone who fits the system a little better than MJ does. Let's bring in Kobe. This starting five is insane. Another MVP for LeBron. And we won 75 games, but we somehow won less games by adding Kobe. We just got to somehow build out a super bench. That's all we can really do. Our starting five is amazing. Went ahead again and walked our way to the finals. We're playing Jalen Green, Justin Edwards, Tatum Rock. This is a really good team. Again, just every time I say that, we smoke them. LeBron might get over 10 finals MVPs, man. This is crazy. But our goal right now is to go 82 and 0, man. We can do it. We have four players who are 99 overalls. And the tier for Will has definitely been the best wheel so far. Oh, we almost got ourselves another goal. Okay, we'll take a starter. We're going to stick to our game plan for building a perfect team for LeBron. Let's go with Miles Turner. Let's see if Miles Turner can help us out. These are not MVP numbers. I don't know how LeBron's winning these. I mean, they're winning over 73 games, so I get it. We didn't have a single player average over 20 a game. Once again, cruised our way to the finals where we got to play a pretty good Thunder team going against Chet. And they actually put up a good fight, but we're going to win here in seven. Oh my God, they gave it to Durant. I mean, he balled 40 points. Can't blame him. Why is Durant going down one overall? And now it's time for the final wheel, the tier five wheel. We got ourselves a superstar. Keeping the theme of floor spacing for LeBron to play good. We're going to bring in young Dirk. I don't mind Dirk starting and Durant coming off the bench. I actually like this. LeBron finally doesn't win MVP. We just keep winning 70 games, man. This is getting hard. I might have to just go for best player available instead of trying to build LeBron the perfect team. We got to try to go 82 and 0 because I don't think we're ever going to lose a championship yet. We're winning every year. Why did Dirk go down one and T-Max getting worse too? It's getting ugly. Going to need the tier five with a bail us out here. We're going to go ahead and get a superstar. Okay, we'll take that. 30% chance. I'm giving myself the best chance to go 82 and 0. Let's bring in Shaq. We are now running a nine man rotation where everybody is at least a 90 or above. DJ with another MVP. Doesn't matter what your team has. He just can't go 82 and 0. It's really hard to find a balance between building LeBron the best team possible and also trying to go 82 and 0. Another ring for us here. Obviously winning the championship again. Don't need to show you all this. T-Max going down, man. And I'm not going to lie. Even if we get a go here, I don't think it's going to help. Okay, well, we got to go. I might as well just take MJ or Kareem or something like that. We, we got to give ourselves the best chance possible to go 82 and 0. This one came down to age. Kareem is only 23 years old, so we're going to bring in Kareem. Oh, well, we got T-Mac, Kobe, LeBron, Shaq, and Kareem. Hopefully, this is enough to win it all. LeBron back to winning MVPs. And we tried our best, but 77 and 5 is all we got. And there's another ring for LeBron and the Cavs, obviously. And now I'm going to send to the end of LeBron's career. If he ever goes 82 and 0, I'll obviously show you. And we'll go over all of his career accolades, everything like that. LeBron's finally retired after 21 years in the league. For his career, he averaged 24, 8, and 9. Pretty good stat shooting, 53% and 42% from 3. Here's some of his career highs. Not that overwhelming. 59 point career high. Rebounds, 22 assists, 20. Nothing crazy. And he was a 13 time MVP, a 14 time champion, a 16 time defensive player of the year, and 21 times first team All NBA. Ignore this, LeBron, but all LeBron was first in scoring 20th in three pointers, 11th in rebounds, second in assists. And LeBron and LeBron are top two in turnovers. Thank you for watching me build LeBron's dream team. Let me know who you should do next. Goodbye.